and open. Okay, close. And open. Close. Tell me when you're starting. Started. You started? Okay. All right, so this is a, a refinement from the original technique that I described. So I gave him a little prepare cane nummy drop, a little antibiotic drop, and a drop of Lumify. Uh, the Lumify will suck in the conj a little bit but actually those blood vessels a little bit smaller so we get less bleeding. What I'm trying to do is this procedure and not have the patient red or too red afterwards. So I find that the Lumify will, close your eyes, will keep the bleeding down if there's any. So once he's numb, this patient has already had an IPL with expression. He has conchalasis, which I took a video of to show you as you're seeing this or before you see this technique. I'm going to put a little lead speculum here. So his conchalasis goes from medial all the way to temporal. If you have somebody that is nasal to temporal, then you're going to go ahead and give them the numbing lidocaine all the way through. So this is a little bit of lidocaine with epinephrine. You're gonna look up as high as you can. Good, perfect. And then a little bit to your left. So you're gonna aim for conge underneath the lid, because we're gonna do this all underneath the lid so that there's Cosmetically, there's nothing to see. And we're just blowing up this conge. Good. So now he's numb. I'm gonna put a little bit of numbing drop on top of that. You just have him keep looking up. So the refinement in technique is I find I don't need as much heat as I originally thought in the beginning. So I'm doing this with lower and lower amount of heat. So you can use a little capsule rexus forceps that anything hockey shape will do. And you want to clamp off the conj and then just a little heat. And the heat will constrict those tissues. I'll get out of the way so you can see a little bit more. So if you saw my earlier videos, I would use a lot more heat, but I find you can get the same effect and less adverse and downtime with using low temp cautery and just touching this. So what you're gonna find is that tissue is gonna stick onto the cautery, so you wanna just wipe that off and then I check to see if I'm still generating heat. Look up for me. And again, this will be all underneath the lid, so cosmetically you won't be able to see anything. And then temporally, you're gonna come clamp off. I like a capsorexis forceps because the forceps are a lot longer, so I get a lot more area covered. So when you get temporally, just be careful. Don't get around the skin. They may say they feel some heat when you get more temporally. And just remember, you control everything. So my finger is on the heat, but if I wanted to the heat off. I just have to take my finger off the trigger. So it's coming along nicely. We're almost done. That's the other thing I find. You really don't have to do much to get that, that constriction for the conchalasis to go away and not be a problem anymore.
So remember this is all under low temp. And this is where that Lumify comes in handy because if we didn't have Lumify, you would see more redness. So these patients, after the treatment, I'm gonna give him a little bit of steroid antibiotic ointment and then a steroid antibiotic drop. Yeah. Okay, you feel a little something? So yeah, you can just take your little numbing drop. And I don't know if you can already see the constriction line right there and actually when this heals it you won't be a line at all you won't see anything so we're almost done now if it was nasal i would just come over here and pinch nasal but all right actually this looks pretty good so far so let's check to see how we're doing look straight ahead good so as you can see everywhere that i treat it is below the lid margin. Now, what you have to tell patients is, don't go home and pull on their lid to look where we did mm. the procedure, because then that's kind of stretching out what we did. So we want, what we want to do is let that heat constrict the conjunctiva, just like putting heat on saran wrap. It's just gonna go and tighten it up just like that. And again, all below the lid margin. Look up for me. See, that's where our treatment is. And what it's gonna do is gonna pull all that conjunctiva, excess redundant conjunctiva down. It's gonna push it, pull it down here. All right, so that little bubble that you see there, that is where the lidocaine is. So his vision is not gonna be very good here for the next few hours because that's the lidocaine anesthetic. Um, he won't have to have a patch, but what we're going to do is put a little ointment so as that conjunctiva there won't bother him so much. So there's a little steroid antibiotic ointment. One more drop of Moxie. And then one more drop of some Lumify or Bermidine or Alpha-Gan P, whatever you got. All right. And that is by far the best way to treat conj -calasis. And I say that because I've tried everything else, grafts, amniotic membrane, stitches, cutting, and by far this is the best functional and cosmetic effect. How are you doing?